Hi everybody, Juliana here. Welcome back to Bay Cookie Travel. It's summer in Canada and with everything reopening, we're back with our famous food adventures. Today I will show you three amazing places in western Ontario on its sunshiny coast. A long lake here on this area has great beach towns, beautiful views, fresh ingredients and amazing places to eat. I will show you what I stayed, what I ate, and what to do in this beautiful part of the province. So, vamos! Let's go! Leaving Toronto, we set off to Ontario's west coast for a weekend getaway. It's about a three-hour trip, but can be a beautiful drive. Once we got off the highway near Kitchener, the road was opened up and it was amazing. You can appreciate how full and colorful Canadian summers are. We got to our place around 9 p.m. and we were blown away by our choice. We got this place on Airbnb. The place is owned by a local couple who are amazing hosts and the property is just incredible. Every room has windows with breathtaking views of the property. Just wait till you see it in the morning. The hostess even welcomed us with this amazing pastry from the most famous local bakery. So it's morning, and as I said, the house has a view of the property from every room. We had a really nice breakfast outside on one of the two personal parties that they offered to the guests. So after breakfast, around 9.30, we headed into to Grand Bend, a beach town which is about 45 minutes from Godridge. This is a very well-known beach in Ontario, especially for its sunset. It has an amazing beach-style vibe, everything you're looking for for the summertime. Which way to the beach? Main Street. Head down Main Street for everything you need until you end up with your feet in the sand. Plan to get there early so you can find a parking spot close by. Parking is $5 an hour or $25 for the day. We got there around 10.30 and it was a perfect timing. Get your spot as soon as you can on the beach and enjoy! The beach is a good size. I would say go left for a more family fun atmosphere and go right for a more grown up and hang out vibe.
We enjoyed the beach for a couple of hours and then we headed up to Main Street to check out the shopping, fun and of course food. There are tons of beach stores. They very pretty and cool inside. You can find mini golf and even this very nice Jurassic Park teamed one. Now the best part, let's eat! There are a ton of great options and something for everyone, but we want to be by the water and really get the beach vibe. We decided to go with the Growling Gator. The menu looked good and the party was amazing. We had to line up but it was quick. Right beside you can find a rental shop for sea dues, boats, parasailing and all sorts of beach stuff. I love this place, it has an amazing beach style. They had separate tables and also very beautiful view. Very cool drinks and the food was very tasty. We got this flatbread style bruschetta, a little different for a bruschetta but tasty. And the fish and chips. Well, we buy the beach, so let's get beach stuff. The sauce was amazing, fresh fish, a light coating and delicious fries. After that we got to try some ice cream at this really cute place. They also have pizza and poutines. You are definitely going to want to get a great picture here. I got a vanilla and chocolate dipped with Swiss milk chocolate, as the seller recommended, and it was really delicious. So after that, we head back to the Airbnb to hang out. Now it's time for you to drop a like if you're enjoying this video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more amazing delicious recipes.
So after enjoy our evening, we try to get some dinner in Godrich City. They have some really nice patios, but we sort of lost track of time and we missed that kitchen's closing at 8. So be aware if you're planning a late dinner. I want to get food at Part 2 Bistro since it was highly recommended, but we were too late. Luckily, the Bedford Hotel has a great late night party where they open till 11 pm. They have a nice pub menu to choose from. I got a French onion soup. I know it's summer, but it was a little cooler night and it was very tasty. The cast iron salmon from my main. And my husband got the homemade smash burger, the Texas barbecue bacon and onion. Everything was really good. The salmon was really spicy, if you liked it hot. Next morning, we had another amazing breakfast with Phil and enjoyed our place. Then we headed into Godrich to explore. The city was quiet on the Sunday, but we could get some great treats at this delicious store, Cravings. The name already says everything. They said people go there for the ice creams and chocolate, so I had ice cream yesterday, so let's try the chocolates. I choose the mint one. Peanut butter, which in my opinion was the best. White chocolate and coconut. And nuts and caramel, which was the second best one. Also the cookie dough one, which to me didn't taste like cookie dough. But peanut butter and oats, good for a little snack. After that we went down to the beach. The view down the hill is beautiful. You do see the large salt refinery at first and then you see a very cute little bit. This part of the lake has a more rocky beach, but you can still find a nice spot to relax and enjoy. There are some nice trails around too. You can also enjoy a very nice meal or drink by the beach on this amazing patio with a full view of the beach. West Street Real Eater is also not a very good place to eat. After Godrich, we went into a small town just 25 minutes away called Bayfield. It's basically one main street to explore and walk. Our first stop was this beautiful bakery, the Pink Flamingo. This is a must-try place. They have all kinds of bars, cookies and incredible flavors of cupcakes. I got the mocha bar, which was recommended from the lady working there and the Rocky Road Cupcake. They were all so good! This is a very cute place where you just want to walk, stopping in stores and checking everything out. I found this kitchen store full of everything you need for cooking.
that is also a very beautiful park. Lots of good places to eat. We want to try something with a good local vibe, and so we choose Bayfield Brewery Co. They had a very tasty menu, and also they produced the young beer, so we had to try it. They offer a pairing menu of food and beer, which is very cool. So we got this cheese garlic bread which came with some fresh basil, and it was very tasty. Butter honey chicken for men. And the famous buffalo chicken sandwich, and also this delicious tomato soup. The food was really fresh and delicious. They also have a store, where you can find some products and beer. In the garden patio, really beautiful and cozy. So this was Bayfield, one of my favorite places in this trip. Also, don't forget to check out the ice creams. The lines were always busy. I just didn't have more space. So guys, this was one more of my food adventures. I hope you enjoyed and had some fun. For any questions or anything you saw in this video, just leave a comment below or check all the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to drop a like here. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe here. On Bay Cook Travel, we always bring the best food adventures and food recipes. If you'd like to see more food recipes, click here. And for more food adventures, click here. See you in the next video.